Hi there everybody, it's Halsey from Slim and Stylish and I'm a UK Stamping Up independent demonstrator. Thank you for joining me today. Today's project are these adorable little jotters which I'm sending out to my new team members. I also, plot spoiler, I have a pen that I have also covered in the Delightful Daisy DSP and I have post-it notes and things. I decided this time to give my team members as a welcoming gift, something that's going to help them in their business and help them get their business started. So I decided to make them some stationery. If you wanted to join my team, let me know and I can send you one of these brochures through. I'm also available on phone and email and happy to talk it through with you. Or you can just go to my website and join. It is a great deal during celebration. You pay £99. So if you're looking at going for that level two on celebration, definitely think about joining. It's £99 and you usually get £130 worth of kit free but during celebration you get £130 of kit free but you can also pick two free stamp sets and that is any price stamp sets across the annual catalogue and the occasions catalogue you cannot pick celebration. So it's occasions or annual and I was looking at it the other day and you could get well over £200 worth of kits, sometimes £220, £230 depending on what sets you bought for for £99. What a deal is that? That is the best deal available in the catalogue. So if you are looking at any items and you think to yourself, oh, I could be spending about £19, £99, that is the option for you and I would love to welcome you to my team. You do not have to demonstrate. You do not have to stay with Stamping Up. You can leave after that if you wish to. You get 20% on your future orders, which goes up until the 1st of June. So you can get that discount and then you can leave. You don't have to stay or you can decide to transform it into a business. And I'm happy to help and discuss that with you and to give you some tips and tricks. But right now I'm going to show you how I'm going to make this notebook. So this notebook is a shopper's jotter that I just bought from Morrison's. Um, it, it wasn't pricey, probably about 40p because, you know, that's me. And I'm just going to take this top bit off here. So because it's actually glued and stitched in, I'm just going to take a couple of leaves out, probably about three or four, so that I can get my snips in. And then I should just get that little bit at the top so I can just get my paper snips into that and chop that off. So as close as you can to the actual notepad. There we go. Just take that down the other side. Actually, I'll, I'll tidy it up when the the papers off you want to really cut as close as you can to the actual notepad you don't want any of this this nasty blue being seen because you know it does look cheap and naff so we'll get rid of that there we go I do like to spoil my team members stamping up said that you can't send any product incentives to people for joining your team so no demonstrator can do that you, you can obviously send incentives, and I do, for whenever a member of my team does anything that's, that's great or fantastic. Um, but you can't do it for joining. You can't enhance the starter kit. But you can send them little gifts for joining as a thank you. So that's where my idea for notebooks and stationery come in. So once you've cut that off, you want to get... Now, I use Peekaboo Peach for this. And this is also three inches wide, so it matches my notebook completely. However, this is eight inches long. I'm going to score this at eight and a quarter inches because I like to have this lip on my notepads so that when I grab it, it just opens without me having to fumble and find it. So just grab your stamping scoreboard. Or your Simply Scored, as it is actually called. <laughs> and... I, like I said, I'm going to go to eight and a quarter to score down there. And because I know that this is a quarter of an inch, and you can just double check it on there, I'm going to score at eight and a half. So it just gives me that quarter inch to go over. And this is going to fold all the way down the back to halfway there, so it's proper sturdy. Okay. I fold that over. Where's my bone folder? I like Peekaboo Peach. It was an in colour um, a couple of years ago and it's still current in the catalogue 
but because it was an in colour 2017, 29, no, 2016, 2018, <laughs> get my years right, um, I'm not sure it's going to be sticking around and it, it's quite sad because I think it's a really fresh, beautiful colour. So using my fast views, I'm just going to run it across there. I'm going to include, I'll show you, the bit that I've scored. So I've actually run it, I don't know if you can see, I've actually run it right up to the second score line so that this top bit will also stick as well. Just go again because I don't want this to fall apart. You can imagine, thank you for joining my team. I open it up and it falls apart. They'll think, what's she playing at? <laughs> so I'm just going to stick my notepad down. So you want to stick the top to the first score line. Stick that straight and then bend this over so it sticks to the top of your pad. Just keep applying some pressure on there so that it does stick. Okay, it's fused so it should stick well. So it opens like that. How lovely is that just for a starter? And you do have that lip there so you can just grab it. Okay, I've then got Night and Navy which I've cut down. So this is two and seven eighths of an inch by eight and one eighth of an inch. And then this one here, which is the Delightful Daisy DSP, is two and three quarters of an inch by eight inches. And the reason I have used this DSP is because we have got some gorgeous DSPs that have now come out in the catalogue the occasions catalog really nice and everyone's using them on everything but I just wanted to remind everybody that the lovely DSPs that are in the annual catalog are still current and they're still available and they are still gorgeous I quite liked the DSPs in the annual catalog and I feel that I'm not using them enough at the moment so that's why I've used that and I'm just popping that on there so it's just got a slight hint of the peekaboo peach around the outside. And then I'm just going to pop my DSP in the middle. So for that I'm just going to use my multi-purpose liquid glue because this is DSP going onto card and I don't need the fuse. I also like doing this because if it's not centre I can just move it around with my fingers before it sticks, which is always helpful. And you get just that slight shade of navy underneath. There we go. Like that. So what I have now is I have got two stamp sets which I find really crucial for my business. Um, they're not really a stamp set I think you'd have if you weren't a demonstrator. Um, and as these are for people who are going to be... I mean demonstrators and joining my team. It's the best decision ever photopolymer stamp set. I have read, I read this morning, that Stamping Up will be looking to stop selling these. So if you haven't got one and you're a demonstrator, get in for them because they're great. They're so useful for me. Hand stamped by, so you can put your name. I made this and can show you how. It was fun stamping with you. Thanks for hosting. Thanks for your order. I miss your face. Come back and stamp with me. Best decision ever. Hello, my name is Halsey and I'm addicted to stamping and that is just so for me, but I used the Best Decision Ever one, which is here, a piece of Whisper White. Now what I did with this, I was in two minds. I first stamped it in Peekaboo Peach. Like but then I decided I wasn't too keen on the peekaboo peach because it was it was just a bit out there, just a bit too bright. So I came in with a night and navy. I didn't clean my block, which is unusual for me. And I just, you're going to see my head, I think, perhaps. I just came over the top. If you're not seeing my head, I've just hit you, and I, I am sorry. And I just dropped that over the top and stamped it. So it gave it... A very slight sort of shadow in the peekaboo peach and I loved that I thought that was great it also made the navy pop 
I hadn't thought of doing it. It was an error when I didn't like the peekaboo peach, but after I'd done it, I realised I quite liked it. So one and three quarter inch circle punch to punch those out. Then you want to grab the pieces of paper that you pulled out because I'm just going to use them as scrap. And I have the flower from the Petal Palette set. So it's just this one in the corner, which gives it a watercolour look. I want your Night and Navy again. Stamp off. Stamp on. Stamp off. Stamp on. Stamp off. Stamp off. It's like that, um, what's that film? Is it Karate Kid? <laughs> yeah, I think that's the one. It doesn't matter if it goes over because you've got the peekaboo peach shadow that will look quite nice with it. There we go. So just give it a bit of bit of pretty flowerness on the corner there. Best decision ever. For me, it was actually a really good decision to join Stamping Up. Um, I haven't regretted it. And I know you might think I'm just saying that because I want you to join. I'm not going to lie to you. It's beneficial to have people join my team. Um, it helps me. But it's also a great idea. I, I mean, I've never regretted becoming a demonstrator. I've thoroughly enjoyed every minute of it. And I love some of the comments and the lovely people that I've met and seen and some of my customers that I've got, it's been a great decision for me to do. It just suits me. I wouldn't sit here and tell you to do it if it, if I thought it had been a mistake. So I've got my two inch circle punch and somewhere, and I wish I knew where, I have put two scraps of paper. Can you believe? And my starburst punch. I do this every video, don't I? I really, really need to get more organised. There we go. There's the Starburst Punch. And my spare Peekaboo Peach. So I'm just going to grab that. I'm actually, um, I'm not, it's not that I'm an untidy or unorganised crafter. It's the fact that I don't have much room Um I craft in the corner of the bedroom, actually. So just behind me um, is the bed and I lie everything on the bed before I get going. Um, and I'm in a very, very small space, which just goes to prove really that anyone can be a demonstrator and do this from a small place. But it does mean that occasionally I can't remember where I've put things. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stick that on. There we go. And again, I'm going to stick that flat onto the starburst. I've looked on um, on YouTube. Have you ever searched it, like video tours of people's craft rooms? And they are normally the um, the American ladies. And they just have so much space and so much gorgeous craft rooms. I think I want to move over there and just live in one of their craft rooms. It'd be great, wouldn't it? Brilliant. So I'm using the Glimmer Washi from the um, Myths and Legends suite. I'm just going to cut that up there so it sits flush. I don't really want anything on the inside when you join as well um, not only do you get all of your products and your discounted stuff at a ridiculously discounted price which is is great but you also get a business supplies pack so you get all your catalogs that you can give out some invitations to invite people to workshops or crafting groups um, and you also get this grid paper free as well. So it works out It works out really good for you to do it. And I joined in, I want to say it was June last year. And I'm still on the same pack of grid paper. So it's, it's a thick piece and it's quite, quite hard wearing. Other than the fact I keep getting 
I keep getting my glitter and my glue on it. So I'm using the Peekaboo Peach striped ribbon and I'm just gonna make a ribbon just quickly like that, there we go. Okay, and I'm just gonna tidy the ends up a little bit. And if you're worried about joining and doing videos or joining and doing blogs, you don't have to do that. But if you wanted to do it, I've got contacts that can help you. Um, I'm just going to stick that down with some views so that you can have every best opportunity to try and make this business work how you would want to make it work. And there's my little bow. And then just at the bottom here, this is another set that is really handy called I Stamped This and it's great again for being a demonstrator and I just picked the Just For You stamp. I used my Night and Navy. Piece of Scrap Whisper White. Ink that up. I think this stamp is so cute. I'm, this one has got the most use out of that pack just for you. I put it on my um, swaps for on stage last year. I like the little heart at the end of it. I think that's just, just cute. A few stamp sets have just for you, but not in a, in just a cute way. I, I think it's a sweet stamp. There we go. And then I just grabbed a tiny bit of Night of Navy. And I cut that out. I just did this by, by guesstimate and guess that it was straight. And I just cut into it on the one end and I did exactly the same with the peekaboo peach this ended up being a slightly bit longer video than I thought it would be I think it's because I've waffled all the way through it haven't I I really have I've nattered through this one so I'm just going to bring in the Tombow Put a tiny bit on there. Stick that down. There we go. And then a tiny bit on the just for you part. So that just goes like that. I'm just going to leave that to the side to dry. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to bring in my dimensionals and my stamp and write markers. No, not my stamp and write markers, my stamp and blends. Get the names right. And I did one in Night and Navy. And I use these medium sized ones here. So one in Night and Navy, one in Old Olive, and I use a darker color of each one so it showed it better on the, on the Diamantes or Rhinestones, and one in Clipso Coral. Okay my Tombow along the back here if you are looking at the catalogue by the way because I had someone contact me this morning who was looking at the catalogue and wants to join and they've got a few things they wanted and then they asked me what else I recommended I had great fun trying to make a shopping basket for them and we were back and forward speaking about it I am more than happy to do that it's like I reckon I could be one of them personal shoppers in a shop, you know. I could decide exactly what clothes look best on people and give them them, but not spend any of my own money. <laughs> That's just a me. <laughs> like an adult game of Barbie, wouldn't it? Right, just grab my piercing tool. And I started off with the Knight and Navy diamante at the bottom. Followed by the Old Olive.
followed by the Clipsal Coral. And that was how I put together the notepad. I know it was a bit long-winded, but I did want to explain to you the benefits of joining Stamping Up and my team. I, I mean, from my own personal perspective, I can't rate it any more than I have. I, I did have terrible sort of anxiety and worry about doing this. But everyone's been so lovely and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And it's something I want to keep doing. Um, if you want to talk to me about it, just give me a call. But that is how I put together my notebooks and I will come back to you with the pen and the post-it notes so you get a good idea. Thanks for joining me today and I'm sorry it's a bit longer than I had planned. Thank you guys, bye!